Yo, what up, Sports CMM? Commentator March Madness. Zach Zach Sons here, and I'm going to be showing you guys my series, the NBA 2K Play of the Day. And so I'm going to kick it off with this really nice play from the LA Clippers and for my man Blake Griffin. Uh, the play is called the A4 High, and let's just see how this play works. So you hear Chris Paul here on the top left, and he waits for Blake Griffin to set him a screen, and then he'll throw him the alley-oop pass. Once again, here showing with Chauncey Billups this time, and again, the alley-oop to Blake Griffin. So this play is very versatile. There's many options that you could use to it. Uh, let's say you missed the screen or messed it up. You rescreen like right here. And when it comes to the basket, you're going to give him a nice pass, and that's going to be an easy finish for him. Or you could drive and kick it out to a wing player uh, for three, like here, Chris Paul. And before you saw Chauncey Below shoot the three. And if they start crowding you on the sides or in the paint, you kick it up top to Karan Butler. And that's another easy three. And don't forget that Blake Griffin is now improved mid range shooter, so sometimes he could make that shot and that's also a possible option but obviously I like to throw up the alley-oop to Blake Griffin that's gonna be my choice uh, most of the time and it's also the fanciest and you you'll definitely get your opponent pretty mad when you're throwing up alley-oops in his face but uh, don't forget that you have another good alley-oop scorer and that's DeAndre Jordan and you can always throw that lob pass to him as well so you got many options but let's see how this play works on online rank matches. So you'll see me here playing against the New York Knicks, which is a beast team, especially in 2K. And so I'm going to throw the alley to Blake Griffin. He slams a nasty. So now you see me in a different game using the same play. And so you see the screen by Blake Griffin. And you know what's coming next? The alley you finish just like in real life in NBA. Chris Paul alley to Blake Griffin and that's why this is what the play is gonna be able to let you do and here I go for a rescreen because I messed up the initial screen so Blake Griffin cuts to the basket and he's wide open for a dunk and remember to call this play you gotta call it for Blake Griffin your power forward and it's called the A4 high but right here I alley to to DeAndre Jordan because Blake Griffin wasn't cutting to the rim so I reward Jordan instead and don't think that you always have to throw the oop for this play to work. Sometimes you could just do an easy pass like right there to DeAndre Jordan. And he will definitely finish at the rim. But maybe this time you want to shoot it instead. So right here you kick it out. Jamal Crawford shoots that three. And you know he's going to make the buckets. This play is simple to use and gets you points quick. And just like in practice, I'm going to kick it out here to Karan Butler. And again, he could make the three as well. This team is a beast. They can shoot the three, they can shoot the mid-range, they could dunk it inside, catch alley-oops, throw the nice passes, and once again, nice pass to Blake Griffin. You can see from this video just how awesome this play could be. And basically, you can kill your opponent by running this play the whole game because this play got many options, so it's not like they could stop you from either shooting three or throwing the alley-oop or driving into the paint. This got so many options that they won't even know how to stop you, which will definitely make your game better. So next time you use the Clippers online, make sure to try out this play, the A4 high for Blake Griffin, and hopefully I see you guys real soon. Peace. What is up guys, it's -a me, a Mario, otherwise known as the Italian Mumbo to you guys. Uh, I do the little it's -a me, a Mario because my name's Mario and I'm a gamer and it just seems to fit so perfectly. Or does it? I've only got 4 minutes, so I better hurry up, but I have a nice little game here, 70 to 69 against the Los Angeles Lakers and I've got a little story to tell you about going clutch in the 4th. So when I was younger, I used to skate, and I have to admit it, I was not the best skater at all. But I love the whole social aspect because, well, all my friends were doing it. It was just a thing to do after school instead of doing homework. And we all know we've been there once in our lives. So it was just a normal day at the skate park. I wasn't landing my kickflips. Everyone was having fun. 
It was just like every other day. So me and my best friend Harry would leave our belongings on this little park bench seat type thing at the top of the vert ramp. On this very normal day, we were just skating like we always did. We would never really pay attention to any of our belongings because the skate park was so local, everyone knew each other's faces, and we were just young and naive. So, long story short, these belongings get stolen. Mid-process, we see this guy taking our belongings. He'd probably have been about two years older than us. We were about 12 at the time in what was called intermediate school. So this guy would have been in high school and was accompanied by a couple of mates. As I said before, we caught them mid-process and they started running. They started running really, really fast. Good thing that Island Bay, where the local skate park was, only had one main road. So me and my best friend, we started chasing these guys. They ran about 200 meters and dipped into this driveway where the local tennis club was. The club had a little stairway access where you could run up and get onto this little balcony type thing. So, that's what the robbers do. They go straight up there where they are trapped, so we confront them. We start shouting, a few profanities are thrown around, and me, trying to be the hero, well, I do a really, really stupid thing. I throw my board up to them. And, let's think about this, guys. It's a skateboard. What the hell was that going to do to them? But there was no turning back now. The board gracefully floats up in the air as it plummets straight back down to earth with the help of gravity hitting me square in the head. The next thing I remember, I wake up in hospital with a gash in my head with six stitches in it. So, moral of the story and how this relates to being clutch in the fourth in 2K13 going up against Hall of Fame, don't be the hero. Think things through. If you've been watching this gameplay, I've been supplying my teammates so much. Look at Amari. He's hyped. I just gave him a nice little easy dunk. I haven't done anything unreasonable. Sure, you can be like Kobe Bryant, but look what's happening to his team. They're self-imploding. I'm making smart plays, using the double team, and relying and trusting on my teammates to make the plays they need to make. Like right here, Ginobili, boom, buzzer beater, right there. It helps that I have Dimer and Floor Jam, as these are really key signature skills to help getting your team involved and winning key games on Hall of Fame. Usually the Lakers are a lot harder to beat, but as you see, teamwork and perseverance pays off. So don't do what I do. Don't throw up a prayer and hope that it's going to go down well. All you need to do is just work with your team, rely on backup coming, and you'll be fine. All I needed to do was just wait for the cops to turn up. But as you see here, they send us into free throws so you know we're going to win. I hope you enjoyed the story. I hope you enjoyed my commentary. We win 100 to 94 in the end. My name is the Italian Mambo, also known as Super Mario, or Mario to my friends. That's my video for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want, leave the fan vote for me. And if you did enjoy my content, come over to my channel and check out my videos. Maybe and give me a little cheeky sub. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.